Well, here we are guys, part two of my evening down at Coventry. I know I said in my last video that this was going to be a full length video with commentary the whole way through, but after watching this footage back, there is nowhere near enough going on in this session for me to talk for a full 15 minutes and keep myself, let alone you guys, entertained. So I'm going to do my usual of editing together any highlights from the session and put over a little bit of commentary like I normally do and hopefully you'll find that a bit more entertaining and I'll have to save the full length commentary for another time. So let's skip forward and get out on track. Okay, out lap time then. Well, two out laps really, because the ground was that cold, it took a couple of laps to get anything going on with the tyres. I remember watching the guys out on track in between my two races and seeing the exhaust hitting the floor and condensating. That's how cold the concrete was the day that we went. So, lap three is pretty much where it all started, with a nice cutback on the guy in cart number one, and then trying to go the long way around on this guy and getting wedged up against the barrier because he doesn't know I'm there, losing all my speed up the ramp. So, I waved my mate through, but then the chap in cart one tries to come back at me so to make sure that wasn't going to happen and made him go around the outside on a hairpin which as you know that's never going to work. Following round then to the hairpin at the bottom of the ramp I send it down the inside of cart number 20 which is a move I previously would have backed out but now I'm starting to gain some real confidence in myself and my abilities to go for these kinds of moves. A common theme for me this night was I kept turning in too early on a lot of corners and we've been doing it at least every other lap or so. As seen here in this little montage I have no idea what was going on but my head just did not seem with it. Keeping with that last one then, I'm looking for the move down the inside into the hairpin but I know I'm too far back but luckily cart one makes a mess of it anyway and allows me through. Last moment of the night really, the guy in front of me spins out just as I've started turning in so we're both pretty lucky that no contact was made as seeing as he's facing the wrong way on the apex of the corner. So that was it, like I said not a massive amount of action in this one, but I made do with what I had. So I did manage to get myself down to the Leicester track on Tuesday night, so I have some footage from that that will be in a video in the next week or two. So until then, stay safe during this lockdown. <laughs>